So we're John and Michelle, and we are from Minnesota. And if you don't know where that is, it's in the United States on the Canadian border. So we are very thankful to be in this wonderful warm weather. <laughs> yeah. uh, the day before we left, there was a blizzard, and the day we actually left, it was 20 below Fahrenheit. So we are thrilled to be here and in this great weather. And there's 20 below before the wind chill. So. <laughs> We don't miss it. Uh, three and a half weeks ago, so we've got a lot of experience here. But we did, mm -hmm. <laughs> we did come and visit each of the last two years for about two weeks each time. So we've been each time was in the Bocchetti area, and I've been researching it for probably four or five years. Um, started out basically researching the U.S. and then anywhere in the world that would work for us that would be a little bit less expensive so we could first off just retire and then find a place that retired a little early. We wound up narrowing it down to like here in Belize and Ecuador and uh, Mexico and and it just wasn't the only place in the States that I found that the weather was even remotely comparable was so expensive. Um, the cheap the cheapest place was about four hundred thousand dollars, not in our price range. Um, so we started focusing then the more you look you look into it panama just makes sense they've got good a really good core as far as the uh with the panama canal that creates some income for the country the fifth fifth or sixth largest copper mine also producing some income for the country which helps with uh with a lot of the just the yeah the, the building the roads the the infrastructure of the, of the country and so that, that made a difference to us. Um, but yeah, we just, after we, we looked around and narrowed it down, we'd been to Belize and visited a little bit on a, uh, on a cruise, but after, for us, after we looked into it a little bit, that wasn't what we're looking for. Um, beach life is fun, but it's hot. And uh, um, we like a nice moderate temperature, which is why after, I, there was a Cuenca in Ecuador and, and then uh, Bocchetti here led the way. And then when you start looking at it, well, everything Ecuador has, they have in better in Panama. And so why fly an extra two or three hours when there's no reason to? And then we came and visited. It was, it was just, it was almost crazy. I was literally thinking, Okay, what's wrong with this? No place can be this good. And so I came down the first time, I was kind of looking for what was wrong with the place. She was just glad to get a break because she worked 60 to 70 hours a week. No place can be as good as it seemed. Well, I was very unsuccessful in that quest. It actually was better than we had hoped. And by the time we left it, they were like, okay, we'll be spending extensive time here. Didn't know if we'd move. And then uh, last year we were scheduled to come in January and uh, had it all scheduled out, and then of course COVID kind of interfered with that, we had to reschedule. Got everything rescheduled for March, uh, first two weeks of March, and then after, I mean, I had the, hotel, the Airbnb rebooked, our, our plane, our car, everything was reset. And then she calls up, my boss says I can't have those two weeks off, and I can be a little bit of a hothead, so I said, well, if she won't give you those two weeks, just give her your two weeks. <laughs> And had never even thought about retiring that early. And again, I had a, a job as in sales so that if I wasn't with a customer, I could, you know, research, do whatever. And I started thinking about it. I was like, why are we waiting? And it was like, okay, we can, by the, after a couple of weeks, like, we can move this next year if we want. And we came down last year at the end of March and stay for two weeks and, and I was ready, that before we stepped foot on the ground, I was ready to move. But she was an accountant by nature, a little bit more analytical. And uh, it was, I don't think we'd been here in a week and she's like, oh yeah, it's time. And so when we got back, I had to get my knee replaced, but while, I, while that was, I was recovering from that, I started going through our old pit photographs and scanning them and, and lining stuff up to get rid of. We wound up selling everything, the house, the cars, everything, and uh, came down with two suitcases each, a carry-on, and uh, been here for about three and a half weeks and absolutely love it. Um, it's, been, it's been incredible. I, I booked 
through uh, Casa Solutions, which is the recommended uh, um, realtor here in Bocchetti through uh, um, Panama Relocation Tours. Now, we didn't actually take a tour. We bought the guide. Um, and I probably should back up a little bit, but the, uh, <laughs> yeah, get me rolling, here we go. But uh, the uh, first time we were down here, I had already purchased a, a, a thing from another company that was like kindergarten or first grade. So it, it had some information, but if you're moving, you need more than that. And we went to a uh, chicken wings cook-off that they were having. And uh, I heard these people talking about a uh, about panel relocation tour. And I found the website and, and looked at a bunch of stuff. But hearing them talk about it, I was like, okay, that site's legitimate. And so we wanted to buy the guide. And actually, we didn't buy the guide. We invested in our future. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it, there was a cost of five ninety five, but it <laughs> it's not the cost. We saved from the from the estimate I'd had on our. Um, legal fees for for our uh, visa, we saved it right there. Plus all the other ways you save money with it, and just the roadmap. I mean, it, you, you're moving from one country, one culture to another. It's like going through a minefield. And I was told a long time ago, if you're going to go through a minefield, don't lead, follow. And uh, so Jack has already been through this. That's already laid out for us. And then just a community that we have within PRT that you get a question answered immediately. It's just incredible. Um, last year we got down, we wanted to find out where we can get fruits and vegetables without paying gringo prices. So we just put a, a quick question out on the uh, um, Facebook website or group and then uh, it wasn't 15 minutes we had the name of the place to go. So at this point in time I think every other Friday night uh, you can go and meet other people that have uh, done PRT, Panama Relocation Tours. Uh, so we've done that once since we've been here and um, it was great. We met some people from Canada uh, so we could relate to the weather. And uh, they actually invited us over to play cards. So we went and did that yesterday. Uh, so it's just very easy to um, meet people. And because, um, you know, everybody in Panama Relocation Tours has relocated, they, uh, generally speaking, don't have family here. They, you know, probably don't know anybody or very few people. And so it's a great way to, um, you know, really get to meet people. And any questions we've got, it's just like, okay, where do I find this? You know, the other day I needed to know where to find lumber. So we can answer on that in just a few minutes. It's like, okay, where do I get my hair cut? Where do I get my nails done? Um, you know, just, I can't find this. Where do I look for the, you know, certain, I was trying to find a mop. Anyway, the kind they have in the United States, not the kind here, but I, and I was able to find it but, but, um, with their help. But it's, it, they're just very helpful and very friendly. Like I said, everybody's looking to make friends. Yeah, it's a, you can get answers to important questions. She found a good place to get her nails done, yeah, and we found a good place, a good pizza place. Yeah, so we did. I've been kind of watching the real estate for about three years, actually, two or three years, and then just, but the, things go fast. And so just before we came, the Tuesday before we left, we left on Wednesday, and a, a place came up. It, it's nicer than we expected. But we, I, I booked an appointment Friday morning. We, we, it was Tuesday that we, I saw it. Wednesday we flew out. Thursday we got to Bacchetti. Friday morning we met with a realtor, and he, and he came out and showed us the place. And by Friday afternoon we had signed the papers, and Saturday we moved in. So it was a pretty quick turnaround. We never expected it to go that fast. But again, the groundwork was laid. Jackie and our we knew we could yeah. trust who we were going through, Casa Solutions, because Jackie had the recommendation. Um, the rec we bank on the recommendations we see on the, on the PRT website, plus what we see from people talking on, on the uh, chats too. So it's, it, it's been huge for us. And you know, so we moved in and we, we bought a few different things, you know, that, that you need for a place, but it's, it's just been incredible. And on the, 
in the community that we live in, there's like a, a park or gardens that we can go and walk in. Yeah. We do that pretty much every day, although sometimes we just go outside the, the uh, out, across a bridge, which is right here, into uh, Yaramillo, or we walk into town, which is maybe a five to 10 minute, depending on what part of town. But we'll walk in, if it's light groceries, and we'll get that, but we'll go to the vegetable place, bakery, or just, it's just a nice little walk into town, and we were, we were blessed to be here. The first couple weeks for us was very busy because we were trying to get everything taken care of, trying to get a bank, bank account set up, trying to get a, find a place to live, trying to find um, transportation, want to buy a car, um, and it's all the little logistical things, but we had it done within a week and a half to two weeks, all that we can do on this trip, and now it's kind of slowing down, and we're just kind of starting to do more and uh, it's it, we're, one of the things we talked about when we came and visited last year was we'd like to go on a picnic every week, where because there's so many we haven't even scratched the surface on places to look, just around the Bocchetti area and in the different valleys around here. It's so incredibly beautiful when you drive, and so we're going to just drive when we see a place that we like. We'll sit and have uh, our lunch and enjoy. That it'll probably be around the river because there's lots of rivers and creeks. And uh, then just kind of drive and then come back. And they'll do that once a week. And there's still so much in the town that, that we haven't seen. Um, it's, <laughs> it's never ending. And, there's, and the people are so nice, too. Yeah, the birds are, the birds are very talkative in, in our ear. And you wake up in the morning, I, I open the sliding glass door, and I can hear the little creek going by. And the birds are up before I am. Um, but they're just, I mean, it's, it's just fun to hear that and uh, you can shut if you close all the windows you could shut them off but why um, it's <laughs> they're, they're they're having fun and uh, it, it, they don't keep us awake or anything but uh, it's just it's nice we have not closed the windows completely since we moved in um, you, you don't do that there's just no reason to so you maybe alter them a little bit for temperature in the evening because it cools down but other than that no heating, no air, and no care. It's actually a gas fireplace. Um, it, it sounds like it would be it will be kind of nice to have in the rainy season. Um, we have not experienced that yet, but we're looking if we need it. It's so nice to have it there. We pay twelve hundred a month for this, and that's we have to pay for our our cable. We just want, we all we want was internet, but to get cable it was a dollar extra. So okay. Um, we, so we have internet cable and our phones, and it's like $80 a month for everything. Our cell, cell phones with unlimited, I don't know, unlimited everything we need. Um, and uh, all that is about 80 bucks a month. And then gas is, we don't know, because we haven't paid it yet, but they estimated 15 bucks a month. So it's just, it really, in the water here is filtered, everything's clean the garbage everything else is included electricity so it's pretty all-inclusive and the gardener there's a gardener that's out here three times a week yeah. um, it, it's it, it, yeah I we don't know what else we could want yeah our internet's been really good never yeah. never had to wait for anything um, and we, we stream on a TV We'll have each have a device going a lot of times, um, either a laptop or a phone or a tablet or something. Um, it's been <laughs> absolutely perfect. The uh, we've had we think we assume we've had power outages a couple times at night because we've had to reset the uh, uh, microwave. Um, other than that, I think we have what maybe a two minute or three minute power outage in the three weeks we've been here. Yeah. So, um, so it's yeah. been it's been virtually flawless I think I think no matter what your budget is you can you can make it work here um, yeah you know so there's there's definitely places that are less expensive than this and there's definitely places that are you know more expensive than this so but I think no matter what your budget is you can make it work yeah. if you're willing to, willing to look you will find a nice place in your budget we're actually not going to be able to get our visa until or apply for it till after September. I'm 61 right now, so I, I don't we don't have any pension. Um, so it, when I turn 62 in September, 
uh, we'll be able to go ahead and apply for a pensionado visa. Her nephew's got a, gra a college graduation coming up in May, so we'll go home for that. Then we'll go home in September, get all our paperwork set up and, uh, and have it ready. We can come back in, as soon as we can in October, and, and then we don't, <laughs> maybe next summer we'll go back. <laughs> But if somebody would love, we'd love to be with family over the holidays. We have a second bedroom, so they can come visit. And there's a there's a hotel nearby, so <laughs> I don't want to go back to Minnesota in December, January, or February anytime soon, or ever. But yeah, so we'll. But again, getting back to the the PRT, everything is laid out. What we need for our, our for our uh, visa and and. There's a checklist that we that we worked on, or I guess I <laughs> I'm pretty much one that's checking it out because she was she worked till uh, beginning of January. Um, I haven't worked since May when I left to have my knee replaced, so I had a lot of logistical stuff because she was busy. So we definitely want to go uh, to Azura Peninsula. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Uh, so. You know, just spend some time down on the beach, see if we like that. Uh, he really likes to do woodworking, and there's a man down there that does uh, woodworking with driftwood and actually offers classes, so we would act really like to um, see that. And um, we, ju we just kind of want to drive around and see what the country has to, has to offer. We're, we're not really city people, so we probably won't spend a whole lot of time in Panama City. Um, Maybe, maybe a couple of days, see a couple of the historical sites. Um, and so that's what we're looking forward to. Um, you know, I just really, if you're looking for a healthy lifestyle, this is a great place to be. Um, like John's mentioned before, I was working 60 plus hours a week. And so, um, you know, I love the fact that I can come here and, um, you know, I walk like twice a day and it's just great and the weather's always great so you can you know walk a couple times a day easily and um, we just go down and we get fruits and vegetables almost daily we just love it because we can have fresh fruits and vegetables with every meal um, and and the price of meat um, chicken and pork is is very reasonable compared to the united states so and even even the ground beef is a little bit more expensive but it is so good the flavor that we've gotten from the local grocery stores on the ground beef has been exceptional. I mean, just it makes you just want to have just a hamburger because it tastes so good. But there's other things to do. But yeah, it's cost of living. I mean, our whole budget total is probably thirty-one to thirty-three hundred, and that includes five hundred a month for travel. So I mean, <laughs> we're living. It's like live, we pinch ourselves every day because it's it's like we're living in paradise. We, the place we found is incredible. The uh, the people, at, um, Panamanians are so friendly. Um, I, I, I really want to learn Spanish so I can have some conversations with them as opposed to I can, I mean, I can ask for, you know, and a few things, where's the bathroom or how much is this or things like that, but that's about the extent of it right now. But it's... Still using Google Translate a lot. <laughs> it's our best friend right now. <laughs> but yeah, it, but with, yeah. as far as if you don't know Spanish, you can get along. I mean, it, you can, at least in this area. Yeah. I never thought we'd stay in a place like this. Um, it still blows my mind. Every morning I'll wake up. I, I, I mean, literally, I walk out every morning, walk out and just go, we live in Bacchetti. <laughs> And every day the mountain's a little bit different because the clouds are different, the lighting's different, the view's a little different every day, and it's just gorgeous. So uh, <laughs> when we came to visit two years ago, uh, we were at the meat counter at one of the grocery stores, and um, this la the lady that's the head of the um, praise and worship group at Bacchetti Bible Fellowship um, just came up to us at the counter. I mean, we were just standing there waiting for our turn, and she just invited us to church. And uh, so we went, and we just really enjoyed it. Um, it's just a, it's a great group. They do. They have it. It's in English. Um, they put the Spanish is also up on the screen, and then they also have somebody that translates it into Spanish so um, people can wear headphones and listen to it in Spanish. 
if that's their preference. Um, so anyway, so we went there and uh, that's been great. Uh, we visited there uh, the second time we went and now we've actually, um, you know, are going on a regular basis and everybody there is really wonderful as well and just uh, very inviting and open and friendly. And so I feel real comfortable going there. A lot of good outreaches too, a lot of places that we, we can spend some time and now that we have some time, we can actually help some other people. They've got a school that I, I'm particularly interested in helping out um, for some of the Bay Indians up in the, in the coffee region. They're, they're not in the, um, what are they called? Comarca. The, Comarca. They, they also have a group, have some help out there too. But, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's fancy. Yeah, it's just, we were just standing there talking and I think she realized we didn't understand Spanish <laughs> and she's, and so it starts conversation. She happened, just happened to be the praise and worship leader for, at the time, I think, the only English speaking non denominational church in Burkett. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it's been, yeah, our path has pretty much been cleared the whole way. Everything's just opened up for us. It's been, thank um, you, Jesus. But, but, um, but, so that's great. So if, that, if that's an important aspect to your life, there's definitely uh, a church here that, you know, speaks English that you can go to. So, like I said, so if that's an important thing to you, um, that they definitely have that here. And there's some others too. So there, there are. I have a, <laughs> a lot of work that needs to get done, and dental is much less expensive. I have an implant that's going to be going in here in the states, would have cost minimum five thousand um, dollars. I'm going to um, actually have extensive. Um, from, I think it's five crowns, an implant a root canal and a filling and it's going to cost me about 500 bucks more than just the implant would have in the states and that's with a dentist who speaks english who did some of his uh schooling in iowa so um speaks good english and it and it's just a short drive to david so but yeah it's there's so many and one of the things that surprised me i went to him first last year when we were here just to get things started and uh i got his number on whatsapp that doesn't, you don't get the number of your medical professionals in the States. And, and so, and because we kind of had a couple of times we thought we're coming, we had to change appointments. But yeah, before we came down, I had an appointment set for, um, we, we got to Bocchetti on Thursday. Our first, my first appointment was the following Wednesday because I had his information I could get it booked before we even left the States. And so, yeah, and he's been fantastic. She's got some, some work that she's got to get done too, but it's it's nice to do it. Know it's going to get done. We're in the states because of insurance. You got to kind of ration it out. This year I'll do this. Next year I'll do this. Next year I'll do this. This for two years worth of uh, cost. I'll have everything done at once, and it's so much better and cheaper because you don't things don't keep breaking. You do it once and it's done. So. Um, and the other nice part of it is, uh, at least this particular dentist, uh, you know, we can get in right away. We don't have to wait. Um, like yeah. I, I just said, oh, can I have a cleaning? And they're like, oh yeah, just come next week when your husband's here. We'll clean your teeth for you. You know, back in the United States, it's a six month wait to get your teeth cleaned. So, yeah. so it's, it's nice that they've got such a quick turnaround that you can get appointments quickly. So that's yeah. nice get the guide or go on the Absolutely. tour. Um, if, Absolutely. Just don't throw money away. Because um, you are investing in your future. Looking back, I kind of wish we'd gone on the tour, but... It was COVID, so we couldn't. Yeah, but I'm a, a kind of <laughs> a little bit independent, like to do things my own way. Um, sometimes to the good, sometimes to the bad, but um, that guide was fantastic because it just like I said, it lays out what you need to do. Um, and I, I cannot stress enough, if it had been three, knowing what I know now, if it costs three times as much, don't raise the price, Jackie. Um, if it costs three times as much, we still would have bought it. Uh, it's been way more value than that. And I don't know where else you can get a return on your investment of three times inside of a year and a half to two years. Um, if, if you follow the guide, you won't have any problems. Yeah. And just and come with an open mind. This is Panama. Um, okay. So you're not moving to the United States South. This is Panama. And 
things are not always to the minute on time. But we really haven't encountered any huge delays on anything. Yeah. Um, we had our we had our cable installed. Um, they gave us an eight to ten, eight to twelve time frame. They heard nine o'clock in the morning, so that was really good. Mm -hmm. um, and and even the dentist performance have been they've been within five to ten minutes of the scheduled time has been there. Um, yeah, my my advice is come with an open mind, get ready to enjoy, relax, and. Enjoy the Panamanian paradise. If you're looking for a place to get rid of stress, this is the place to come. So. <laughs> that smile's awesome. <laughs>